<laughs> MMA Viking. <laughs> <laughs> MMAviking.com here with the champ, still the champ, Joachim Christensen. Are we in Sweden or are we in Denmark? Uh, we're actually in both. Uh, look, uh, look at my colors. I did it on a strategic form. I take blue and <laughs> blue and yellow. It was on purpose. I wanted to mix it up, and I knew I had a. <laughs> and I knew many people were coming from Melbourne to see me, and from Denmark over. I have a perfect big family who really supports me every day in training, in the ring, outside the ring, on the mats, outside the mat. So our Suave, Czech mat, we one big family, and I really felt it today that everybody is uh, supporting me and everybody else. So I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, yeah, the Danish flags were flying and you could uh, hear the chants. Is that something you could actually feel when you're in the cage or do you kind of stay focused on your opponent? Of course, I stayed focused, but I was actually got carried on a wave. So uh, I felt it. I felt it all the time when the times were bad. It was heavy up in the ring. Man, then the love from these guys, my girlfriend, everything. It was just perfect. Uh, when you stepped on the scales, you look like kind of a different fighter. Like you've uh, kind of been working on your, I don't know, conditioning or working on just um, uh, looking like a, just a different fighter. Is that something that uh, you've been kind of trying to build yourself up as a light heavyweight? I know you fought middleweight before. Yeah, I tried to uh, have a middleweight fight. It was really hard for me, but it's still really hard to be, uh, how to say, a light guy in the light heavyweight. But I changed my conditioning coach from a very good coach to another good coach. And we actually put on some extra conditioning. I didn't feel really tired in the fight. Uh, and also the good coaching, the wave from the family and friends and girlfriend, my dad. Man, everything was, uh, it was really good. My mental coach, man, he's doing a lot of good jobs with me just before the fight. Uh, almost a year before the fight, we start talking, how are you feeling, what is wrong? Problems in the family, problems at home, are you tired, motivation? So. I had a whole year of uh, preparing for this fight, and I felt it today. When you guys clinched up for the first time, I think everyone was interested who could move who. Max Noon is known as a physical guy, very a athletic guy. I, I thought I saw one point in the first round where he tried to move you, and he really couldn't. And from there, I don't know if you kind of got an edge on him, but it looked like Max thought this is going to be a, a long night after that happened. Yeah, my coach, he said, listen to him. Look at him, you can move him. Now he's tired, he's really tired now. I don't know how tired he is, but a, a, a small difference is making a big difference. Uh, and suddenly I felt I could move him because in the, in the beginning he was so strong. But suddenly I felt, okay, I can actually stand with him in the clinch. And yeah, everything just uh, fell to my, my side of the fight and I'm very happy. I'm happy for Max that he took the fight. He was happy that I took the fight. I think that me and him has to, some work to do together to get even more far uh, for both of us. So uh, I couldn't be more happy for, for this fight, yeah. Yeah, it's a fantastic fight, a very high level fight for two uh, Nordic fighters, one of the highest you could uh, put together. And for those that haven't seen the fight yet, you won by a split decision. I wanted to ask you about the final chant before you came in the room, you had the whole team together and you were cheering. What, what were you saying or where does that chant come from? Where is it? It's just coming from inside, I think. <laughs> You know, it was uh, Art Suave uh, from the club. Uh, we did one, two, three, Art Suave, one, two, three, Art Suave, two times. Okay. Uh, okay. It just come from inside. So I don't know, suddenly the coach just wanted to hear everybody's voice, make people out there hear where we come from. Okay, now we're coming. Uh, yeah, so everything is, yeah, it's good. Great, well, congratulations Thank to your you. champ on your first uh, title events and Thank congrats you. to the team and uh, safe travels home, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get your premium coffee at warriorcoffee.com.